In this case study, we go back to the question we continue asking, what do you want me to see? So sometimes when I'm asked to help out with an image, I have no idea what's in store for me. For example, the first time I walked through this particular lab, I had no clue what to look for. The researchers suggested starting with this setup, showing part of their system, which developed a more efficient way of capturing and storing energy. For me, that setup just didn't convey the excitement of the science. But then, as I turned towards the chamber, I saw where the solar thermo photovoltaic device, or STPV device, was doing its thing. The chamber was covered with aluminum foil, as many chambers are in labs, I've noticed. But I was able to focus my eye on the window of the chamber. It looked really beautiful to me. My initial image was a mess at first. A little too much going on, so I decided to simplify the idea, as we continued talking about. I deleted all that foil and just concentrated on the circular window showing the device. I then digitally added a background for a potential submission. When I returned to the lab a few days later with a different device in the chamber, I decided to add some color by reflecting an orange cloth I saw hiding in the corner somewhere in front of the glass, and this time focusing in on just the device in the chamber. I moved the camera closer, shooting at around f32. Notice how the depth of field is narrow since I am quite close to the window. I imagined what I was going to do with the cropped, focused section. First, I overlaid it on an image of the vacuum chamber from before, as I shot before. Then I decided to try something else. Using the single image of the device again, I digitally stretched part of the image to make it more vertical and then overlaid the original image on the vertical image so that the device became proportionately right. Happily got the MIT homepage highlight, so that was nice.